Hey guys, Tamla here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Bondi Sands sunscreen in SPF 50 plus. This is something you're interested in. Make sure to keep on watching. So I ordered my sunscreen from Beauty Bay. It doesn't say how much it costs, but when I check, I'll leave details on the screen or in the description box. So I got it in the 150 ml size, mainly because when I checked the 75 ml and the 150 ml, the ingredient list is exactly the same. So this is the one I got. So today I'm going to be a little extra. I got myself this measuring spoon. Let's pump in the sunscreen. Just trying to clean, um, clean the corners. So this is the excess one. I'm just going to take this and wipe it here. Time to apply this to my face so i still have a little left here but it's fine i'll come back for it so let's apply Okay, so this is just a little one I have left. I'm just gonna put that here. And I'm going to just clean my hands. I am done applying this sunscreen and this is what my face looks like. Okay, so I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I can definitely notice that this gives my skin a shine or a glow so my first impression on this sunscreen is that it does give you a dewy look it is not greasy on this skin or it is not greasy on my skin but definitely leaves me looking dewy so i'm on the brand's website now and i want to read the description of this sunscreen this sunscreen is described to provide one with uva and uvb protection it is a fragrance-free formula that is fast absorbing and it is gentle on the skin. It is water resistant for up to four hours. It is paraben-free and it is sulfate-free. It is reef-friendly and it is dermatologically tested. Okay, so um, most of you may be wondering what type of sunscreen this is. This is a chemical sunscreen. It doesn't contain oxybenzone. Um, the sunscreen filters are Avobenzone, homosalate, octocrylene, and octisalate. Um, so most of you may be wondering if this sunscreen stings the eyes. I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to apply it around my eyes. I know I did apply it around my eyes, but it hasn't stung me yet. So let's just reapply. I'm going to come towards my tear duct area. So let's see. So right now, nothing. I'm gonna wait for some time and I'm going to let you guys know on the screen while editing or in the description box if this actually stings the eyes. It claims to be fragrance-free. Is it really fragrance-free? Let's also check that out. Over here. It actually almost smells like nothing. I can't really smell anything, so I agree it is fragrance free. Who is this sunscreen best recommended for? On the bottle, the brand states that it's suitable for sensitive skin, but it doesn't talk about the other skin types. So that means it can be used by all skin types. People who have oily skin will, you know, have like a love-hate relationship with this sunscreen. Dry skin will love this guy. This guy is 100% dry skin friendly. This reminds me so much of the Black Girl sunscreen. It has the same texture, the same finish on my skin. So if you enjoy the Black Girl sunscreen, this is a perfect dupe for it. It's a cheaper version, depending on where you buy them from. 
this has still not stung my eyes i have you know applied it to my waterline area still nothing but however it entered my mouth weirdly and i don't know how um so i'll say that it has a weird taste <laughs> if you know nix with them that's how i feel like it tastes don't ask me how i know how nix with them tastes okay i just know and if you're wondering what nix with them is i'm just going to leave a picture on the screen so you guys can see what it is right here so my overall thought on this sunscreen i feel like every skin type can use it it can serve as a moisturizer so basically you can you know skip moisturizer to apply the sunscreen if you feel like it's too dewy for you i for one will you know apply moisturizer before i apply this because i need all the moisture i can get i just like the fact that it doesn't look greasy on my skin let me know in the comment section if you've tried out this sunscreen what you think about it um, so guys, we'll come to the end of this video. I hope you guys found my video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.